Today I want to get into the evolutionary rationale behind why we have this built-in energy storage known as body fat. It was honed by millions of years of evolution to provide you with an efficient and dense store of energy during periods of scarcity. You can imagine during long hunting periods when food might not have been available for several days or even weeks at a time. It's literally how we took over the world in a sense. The fact that some of us carry around a little more than we need on our midsection doesn't detract from the fact that fat is a vital organ. When our energy storage systems are functioning properly, adipose tissue is not the enemy. The problem is when the balance gets thrown out of whack and our bodies start storing more than we will ever realistically need. A human being has anywhere from 20,000 to 90,000 calories of fat stored on their body. It's the preferred energy substrate because it's denser than both carbs and protein. And once you're adapted to burning fat as your primary source of fuel, you can tap into your own energy stores. Many weeks for the average person, and many months for the obese individual. There are reports of morbidly obese patients who fast nonstop for over a year. When we're fasting, we want our fat burning systems to be working. We want to be able to tap into them once we run out of sugar, rather than using lean muscle protein. Sim Land defines keto adaptation as the process by which your body adapts to utilizing fat and ketones as a primary energy source. It means you don't need glucose to produce ATP and can thrive on consuming dietary fat or by burning your own stored body fat. Now, I already talked about how keto can mimic fasting by keeping insulin levels low, but intermittent fasting over a longer period of time also creates the same conditions that those on a keto diet are generating so that the metabolism adapts to running most efficiently on ketones and burning fat preferentially, whether it comes from food or body fat. And this adaptation is mostly about the enzymatic support that is used to break down fatty acids into energy. It can take months for someone who switches to a keto diet to become truly fat adapted, but once this happens, it's like a superpower, one that our ancestors possessed by default both because of the higher fat composition of their diets and lower carbohydrate composition, as well as the frequency with which they had to fast just in order to survive. Now, modern humans can basically be considered to be lipid deficient, as well as ketone deficient. Lipids, aka fats, are the preferred energy substrate or fuel because they tend to be highest in nutrients and minerals when they're found from natural animal sources. They're also more energy dense than other macronutrients. There are nine calories per gram of fat rather than four calories per gram of protein or carbohydrates. There's some debate as to how often humans should get into ketosis. We know that our ancestors also consumed starches when they were available, and there is value in having the metabolic flexibility to switch between the two sources. Fasting, whether you're refeeding from carbs, fats, proteins, or some combination, produces the same conditions within a shorter period of time as a ketogenic diet, and by pulsing in and out of ketosis, it's thought that we get even greater benefits. For those with more weight to lose, a more consistent ketogenic diet might be a help. The idea is to have a healthy repository of fat, but you want the right kind. Visceral fat and abdominal fat is very active chemically, secreting a whole host of inflammatory messengers and causing chronic inflammation and insulin resistance, which are at the root of all of these health problems we've been talking about. However, having a certain amount of healthy fat provides a buffer for your body to run on its own supply of energy. To summarize, fat is a superpower when you unlock it through a combination of intermittent fasting and a ketogenic diet. It'll make you a more robust and resilient, free human being. You won't be bound to eating every three hours just to get that glucose level back up. A low-carb, cyclical ketogenic diet is the best foundation for a sustainable fasting protocol. If you don't currently eat a low-carb or ketogenic diet and have never been in ketosis before, it may take you longer to get to the point of baseline overnight fasting. High-fat ketogenic diets are an amazing tool in your arsenal as you move towards more intense intermittent fasting. Many believe that cyclical ketogenic diets are just another temporary trend in the long line of fad diets. However, their steady and growing popularity suggests otherwise that they're in fact a necessary and important tool in the Apostat Correction Toolkit and will be necessary to reverse the state of chronic illness and in particular insulin resistance that's found in people with metabolic syndrome.